beautiful things about cinema yesterday. I would like to share with all of you. So he says, you know, uh, it's, it's like, you know, it sums up the whole thing what we are discussing today. Why it is important to discuss cinema actually. He says, we need film because film is how we understand this world. Through the emotion in each frame and shot, we are bound to find a truth deep inside of ourselves. The more the world changes, like now, today, uh, the COVID situation, the more we need to observe her. And the film is the most beautiful, wonderful, and the meticulous way of observation. And how COVID has impacted the world of cinema. And we are, we, everything lies, you know, in, in this sentence. We know the film production is shut. It is affecting millions of crew members all across the globe. Theaters are closed, affecting exhibitors, their staff, distributors as well. Cine awards are missing the cheapest form of entertainment and its larger than life character on biggest screen. I beg to differ, you know, few of the participants we are talking about, you know, taking cinema to the digital platforms. We can take it to the digital form. It's available and it's happening all over the world. But what about the, this larger than life character of the cinema actually? Can you sort of enjoy the cinema of Bernardo Bertolucci, uh, maybe Last Emperor, in similar way, the way enjoyed in theater? Can you enjoy the images, you know, the, this mezzos, you know, Bernardo Bertolucci, uh, similar fashion in your mobile phone or on screen? It's not possible. So we need to we need to keep this this important factor into consideration while we are talking about you know cinema taking onto the digital platforms and film socializing events. You know, barring few. Maybe one or two, you know, such as the film festivals have been cancelled and postponed. Let's talk about the economics, you know, how does COVID has impacted the, you know, whole film industry. You know, I was reading, I was going through a survey which was published by the Emmy Watson on 18 June 2020. Uh, the Emmy says, you know, as per the recent available data, global film industry has suffered a revenue loss of approximately 7 billion US dollars as of the mid of the March. So that was the situation in the mid of the March 2020. Okay. And the, again, the, the survey sort of, you know, uh, said that, you know, it, the loss could be another $10 billion if economic, uh, if, you know, if this pandemic continues to be April and May. So already we are sitting in September now. So you can imagine the kind of loss the, the, because of the lockdown cinema is facing all across the world. But it is not just about the cinema economies. The, the whole conversation is not about the Definitely cinema economics is an important factor, but this whole conversation is not about the cinema, your cinema. And it, it converts you in a different way. There is a cultural exchange into it. There is a, you know, sort of historical conversation through the cinema. There is, there are different aspects, you know, which we come to know through cinema about the different cultures. So that's a very, very important aspect of this cinema. And most important thing, cinema socializing spaces are the worst shape. You know, theaters, film festivals, all events are shut. Barring few, most of the, you know, at most of the places, theater, film festivals are closed. So what is the impact of, you know, COVID on cinema? If you look at, you know, one by one, so I'll briefly talk about on them. So besides production, distribution, exhibition, economics, and the cinema socialization, this pandemic has significantly impacted our film viewing behavior and other economic behavior films on online platforms, which looks like a trend during the lockdown. This is a trend which is happening and we need to sort of benefit through this trend. Film production is badly hit. We know many livelihood rely upon cinema. It is not just about the fraternity of the artists, but their support staff, co-workers and entire ecosystem that is sustained through cinema. Everybody is impacted. Film industry offers jobs to the several thousands all across the globe. Recently, government has released SOP standard operating procedure to start film productions with social distancing with less crew members, but number of film crew members should not be reduced on the name of the COVID. In fact, proper health check and social distancing is the formula to move forward, but not reducing the crew members. Film distribution is also sort of nil at the moment as we talk about you know traditional mode of uh, cinema viewing. Though theaters exhibitors are ready to screen films with all health safety measures, but producers don't agree to release films in theater fearing a low attendance due to COVID-19, anxiety, and the social distancing. The theater average occupancy is expected as 35% only, thus huge revenue loss is expected. The June was expected for the theater opening, but 
theater shutdown still continues and it is going to continue for maybe another two three months more what we can do we can begin trial screenings uh, immediately with all health safety measures to build a confidence among viewers producers and exhibitors so we need to sort of build a confidence you know these are three stake important stakeholders viewers producers and exhibitors i think we need to sort of start the you know trial screenings all across the globe so that people sort of build confidence you know if you take proper health measures then you can enjoy cinema in traditional way also there is an interesting you know take on film exhibition you know very recently in khan film festival at virtual india pavilion uh, there was a discussion on you know post covid cinema with the eminent director from uh, india shekhar kapoor he said you know theaters are dead why don't another important filmmaker mr anand lal air he said you know they are going to stay another filmmaker kavi khan says you know he has been hearing this argument that cinemas are dead his whole life but cinema halls have always survived it is one of the very few avenues of entertainment with family members can enjoy together when they go out so these are two you know sort of poles of our argument so some way solution lies between these two arguments actually so what can be done actually what we can do that really show must go on go on i'll be with some health precautions and advices close down is not a solution cinema is incomplete without the triangle of production distribution and exhibition so efforts should be made to streamline all three together we cannot isolate you know production distribution and exhibition we need to work on all all, all these three areas so that you know cinema can sort of reinforce itself like is what it was before so new guidelines says lesser people on the set cinema halls etc and more at home this is not a solution this is not a solution at all by doing so we are killing the you know very character of the cinema which is the larger than life character of the cinema which has to be seen in cinema theaters so solution is to engage all crew members in production with full health check up and required safety safety measures since industry has already suffered a revenue loss therefore budget may be tighter it will be tighter in this scenario both actors as well as directors would be expected to take you know pay cuts in a near future projects a major movie budget goes to them actually a major budget goes to the producer director and the actors basically so they need to cut their sort of share in the film production so this is to ensure that the industry remain a flow unesco so to support this campaign a dedicated unesco youtube based film festival can also be formed to encourage the main instrument and indie filmmakers and providing them a platform for the exhibition discussion to normalize this cinema exhibition in theater i think show must go on we should not just hop on the digital platforms we have to think of the you know mainstream theater platform which they, their you know main cinema exhibition uh, cycle life so we need to think of the you know mainstream theater exhibitions also otherwise you know we will not justify the exhibition of cinema on the digital platform this may have been for time being but you know we have to think of the bigger solution so that's it from my side thank you so much for giving this opportunity today on this platform i i thank you know once again icft uh, cict and 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 okay uh, for kindly providing me this opportunity thank you so much